The future has finally arrived. Hmm. The Butler 3000 will revolutionize society, seeing to all the menial jobs that distract mankind from new challenges. The Butler 3000 itself cooks, sweeps, mops, gardens, makes household repairs, you name it. And when uploaded to a central mainframe, Butler 3000 can wirelessly control all technology in the house, tailored to your specific needs. At last, technology to take care of all the mindless little tasks I've never had to figure out how to do for myself anyway. Buffett! Is everything okay then, Mr. Paul? Of course, as you can see, the Butler 3000 is also perfect for interior decorating. The Butler 3000 also <laughs> helps keep you fit and active. <laughs> and who doesn't like dominant threats? The Butler 3000 does it all! <laughs> Computer tech, the lobby of tomorrow. Why this place is so clean you can eat off the floor. I hope that's part of the tour. <gasps> it's the very first personal computer, the Manputer One. Can you believe there was no internet when this came out? You still actually had to go out and interact with actual people. <laughs> that's the whole point of life. Getting out there, exploring, meeting people, touching, feeling, hugging. We've become too dependent on technology, and we're losing our humanity as a result. Daphne, technology is a gift that allows us to avoid almost 73% of humiliating and awkward interpersonal human contact. And I'm working on raising those numbers. Hi, welcome to Manputer Tech Industries. I'm Techie, the super fun humanizing mascot of Manputer Tech's mega conglomerate machine. Please, enjoy our interactive lobby, which adapts to fit your individual needs. Hey, a mini reverse Spanish bowline nut. That's it. Mm. A CG fire and a digital book on parametrized complexity? I am home. Is this sad? This is sad, isn't it? Massage chair. Oh, I am red-headed jelly. Yeah, that's the spot. No, I am not dependent on technology to relax. Hey, back off! <laughs> Sorry to cut the fun short. I'm Mallory O'Neill, Dave Mann's executive assistant. Oh, hey, Mallory! How's it going? Techie. You look great! You've been working out? I never heard back from you about lunch. I thought maybe you didn't get my email, so I tried to leave you a voice message, but it said it was blocked, which is weird, so... I don't know I'm sorry, but all public tours have been canceled for the day. A prototype robot attacked our employees for no apparent reason. Sounds like a mystery. I think we could help. This is Manputer Tech Industries. We don't need your help. Hold on a second there, Mallory. How exactly can you kids help me? Oh, hi, Mr. Man. I'm Fred Jones, and these are my associates. We solve mysteries. Uh, Mr. Man, I really don't think... Send them up to my office. We could use fresh minds on this. Of course, Mr. Man. Oh, yeah, baby! A technology mystery! Ha! I mean, um, uh, well, no. I stand by my first statement. Like, maybe while you guys are talking to Mr. Man, Scoob and I can start looking for food. I mean, food. I, I mean, clues. Nice cover. Good idea. Let us know if you find anything out of the ordinary. So, did, uh, Mallory, you know, say anything about me? Are there any theories as to why this Butler 3000 went crazy? Not yet. Tells Ploy, our head of technology, ran a diagnostic but found nothing wrong. Coffee! That doesn't mean that thing is safe. I'm not worried. I had a kill switch code installed for every piece of technology at Manputer Tech. Anything goes wrong with any device we create here, we can shut it down with a keystroke. So we're now depending on technology to stop technology? <sighs> Excuse me while I put on my irony hat. Ugh, not the irony hat. We're living in a new age, and there's no going back. Mankind would be utterly helpless without technology. Shut it! Uh, so Mr. Man, can we take a look at this robot? Of course. Hey, I think I may have something that could be useful to you. The Super Left Arm 3000. I found if you stick a 3000 at the end of something, it sounds more futury. This is the prototype. I give my left arm for one of those. Fred Jones does not need computerized crutches. You can accomplish any task with just your incredible intelligence, your finely honed senses, your extraordinary intuition, and... A Super Left Arm 3000. Deploy Megafine Blast. Mm. 
it still may need some testing. But there's got to be a snack room somewhere around here. Welcome to Mancuter Tech's Virtual Explorer, the first immersive virtual reality system. You can travel anywhere inside Mancuter Tech, except Mallory's office. One simple misunderstanding. There's nothing creepy about friends looking out for friends. Anyway, as I was saying, we could go anywhere at Mancuter Tech or the world. Any place that serves food. Or even other worlds. Any kind of food is fine. Oh. Scoob, we're on Mars. Yeah, how we on Mars? Like, can you take us to a food truck? A food truck? Yeah, oh, tacos. You're serious. I just told you you can literally go anywhere in time and space, and you want to go to a food truck. Food truck! But you can't even really eat the food. Food truck! Food truck! Food truck! Food truck! Food truck! Food truck! Okay. Food truck. <laughs> like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> That's beautiful. <sighs> Honestly, I don't know what went wrong. I'm starting to think it's just me. My creations have started to turn on me. It's like technology hates me. Ow! <laughs> See? Don't be silly. Technology isn't capable of hating. In fact, it's like a best friend, but without messy flesh and tears and emotions. What's this? It looks like a remote transmitter. Huh. Our first clue. Hey, hey, we just saw the most amazing... No. It's okay, he's powered down. about to be Super Left Arm 3000! Super Punch! You can always depend on a table. Man showed us that kill switch on his computer to shut down any technology in the building. We just have to access it. Huh, can't see anything. It's it's too dark. Good thing the Super Left Arm 3000 has a flashlight. Ah! The light bulb. 150 years of not almost blowing up Velma and counting. <laughs> the flashlight was cooler. Of course, the head of the world's biggest technology company has impressive security to prevent anyone accessing his computer. How long do you think it'll- I'm in. See, technology is no match for the human brain. Trained in using technology. Hey, look at this. Emails and personal messages from Mallory to Mr. Man. All of them warning him with increasing urgency of the dangers of proceeding with the Butler 3000 program. Huh? Zoinks! It's a high-tech leg grab room tomorrow! What hath man wrought? What hath man wrought? Oh no, it's just a guy. Mr. Man? Help. Please. Coffee! How does coffee become to me? Listen, Mr. Man, the kill switch. We need to shut down the Butler 3000. The kill switch, yes? That's even better than my plan. Hiding and grabbing legs. Agreed. But if the Butler 3000's controlling all the technology, won't the kill switch shut everything down? I think we can all agree that's probably for the best at this juncture, no? Nope. That's not it. Aha! There, it's done! It worked! In your face, Industrial Revolution! Let's celebrate prematurely! Huh? Our contact generators have been enabled. Where's that coming from? Our phone! I am Henry Vaughn. There is no longer any hope of stopping me. Okay, any ideas? Hiding? Leg grabbing? Wait, the signal the Butler 3000 is using to control all the devices, like our phones, has to be coming from a powerful central transmitter. If we could find it, maybe we'll be able to disrupt the signal. Mr. Man, where's the main wireless transmitter? Chinich! Muffin! I sense we're on our own here. But the Butler 3000 is everywhere! There's no way we can snoop around without him finding us. Like Scoob and I know a place where we can search for everything, without going anywhere. Yeah, 
virtual medley. Oh, Mallory! My heart fell sing you! Oh, you again. Where would you like to go in the entire universe today? Maybe a falafel stand? <laughs> uh, no. Can you show me the building's main wireless signal transmitter? That's even worse than a falafel stand! What is it with you people? I'm made of ones and zeros, and even I have a greater sense of adventure! <laughs> That's where the signal is being transmitted from. Hurry, guys. I don't know how long it'll take the Butler 3000 to figure out where we are. Like about that long. Run! We gotta get out of here. Finally, a little action. Technology was my best friend, too. Everything I ever believed is a lie. Velma, you are such a dope! <gasps> yeah, I said it! Don't you see? Technology isn't our friend. We're each other's friends. We rely on each other to solve our problems. We love each other no matter how broken we get, no matter how many mistakes we make. That's our strength. Love. That's what love is. The more broken you feel, <gasps> the tighter you get hugged. Okay, I can't breathe. So how do we fight technology with humanity? Wait, that's it. You're right, Daphne. I am such a dope. I have a feeling technology might not be our enemy after all. I've got a plan. Huh? Oh no, it's figuring out how to get in. This way. <laughs> not this way. How are we going to get out of here? It's time I stop letting technology use me and start using it instead. But wait, Fred, you don't know how to use that thing. That is what I'm counting on. Flashlight. <laughs> Okay, let's move. Uh, ah! ah, we got Daphne. Don't worry. Oh. You guys keep moving. Flashlight. No, oh, I, I got this. Okay, help me. This is the only computer without a wireless connection. Butler 3000 can't control it. This is it, 
Scoop, we're doomed! Way to stay positive. Looks like Scattered Robot showers with a chance of sorts! Phew! <laughs> it worked! Super Duels, I told you, I have evolved beyond your simple acts! Oh yeah? Evolve beyond this! Flashlight! That's me! Kids, thank you for stopping this thing, but I still don't understand what went wrong. Not what went wrong. Who went wrong? Mallory O'Neill? Mallory O'Neill. So it was Mallory the whole time, but how? As man's assistant, Mallory had access to all of the company's products, including their technical manuals, allowing her the wireless access codes for everything at Manpeter Tech. She used a remote transmitter receiver to upload a virus into the Butler 3000 through Ploy's laptop, which made it seem as if an artificial intelligence had taken control, when really it was her all along. But why? Because with an app like the Butler 3000 taking care of the small, everyday tasks, there'd be no need for personal assistance. Mallory would be out of a job. That's absurd. Coffee! Oh, I get it. That's why she sent all those emails warning you about the potential dangers of the Butler 3000 program. When you wouldn't listen, she had no choice but to show you the danger was real. And I would have gotten away with it, too, if not for you meddling human meat sacks. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, it's hard to get out of character. Mallory, no! Our souls are one! <gasps> oh, hey there, Velma, right? Our souls are one! So, I guess we all learned a little something about our over-dependence on technology, huh? Actually, no. The technology wasn't evil. It was the person manipulating the technology that was the problem. And this thing sure came in handy. I mean, it pretty much saved the day. Like, yeah. I think I like technology even more now than I did before we got here. Oh, forget it. I'm gonna go text my mom. <laughs> she was wrong. Hashtag Scooby-Dooby-Doo! <laughs>